In Nigeria, the process of making an insurance claim generally follows key steps and these steps may vary depending on your insurance company or the insurance policy you have in place. So today we're going to take you through the various process of making an insurance claim. First and foremost, after the accident occurs, you contact your insurance company immediately and you notify them about the claim and you can contact them via phone call, email or their official website if available. After contacting your insurance company, the next step is to gather the necessary documentations needed for your claim and these documentations include an insurance claim form which is given to you by your insurance company, a police report in a case of theft or burglary or an accident, a medical report if the claim you are filing is health based and you have an health insurance coverage, a proof of ownership to show that oh this vehicle that I'm filing a claim for is mine, a receipt in case you incurred um, debt during the process of the accident. Maybe you bashed someone's car and you had to pay for it to be fixed. And then photographic evidence of the damage incurred that you are filing a claim for. After you've gathered your necessary documentations, the next step is to submit it to your insurance company. And now this submission can be made via phone call, email, or you could walk into the office of your insurance company and submit it in person. Now, after the necessary documentations has been submitted to your insurance company, the next step carried out by the company is to conduct an assessment or an investigation. Now, the company would assess the claim you submitted and an investigation would be carried out if they feel there is something wrong with the circumstances concerning the claims you are filing for. Now, during the process of the investigation, they may likely visit the site of the incident conduct interviews or consult with an expert for more further deliberations. Now, after your claim has been assessed by the insurance company, usually this will be done by a claim assessor or um, a loss um, adjuster. When this is done, the next is to approve or to adjust the requirements for which your claims will be paid to you. Now, if this is done, the insurance company gets across to you to tell you this is the amount we are willing to pay you and then you can decide if that is acceptable. If that's acceptable, then it goes to the next step where the payment will be processed according to what was written in the policy you bought in the first place. Next is if there is a dispute. Most insurance companies already have a process by which disputes are settled and so you just need to go through that process. It's either um, it's settled internally or you use a mediator, maybe a broker or an agent liaising between you and the insurance company or sometimes it can, it can require a legal action. Next is record keeping. You need to keep a good record of the conversations you have during the claim settlement, the documentation and the receipts used for your claim settlement. This will be important even in later future. So you don't have any problem with the claims or the settlement of the claim for the insurance policy that you took. And lastly, it's important to read and carefully understand everything it requires for you to make a claim if there is a need for making a claim with your insurance policy. Why is this important? Different kinds of insurance policies have different procedures and processes for making a claim. So it's very good, it's important to read carefully and understand every procedure you need when there is a need to make a claim. Thank you.